So what I've got here is a knife that my uncle has given to me to repair. It's a, a good knife. It's a, a twins one, a Zwilling Henkel's one, Germany. It's got a lot of life left in the blade and it's reasonably good steel, but the handle's all messed up. So what he asked me to do was replace this handle for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this handle off, clean it up, and I'm going to replace it with a wooden handle. I've got some wood here that I'll do that with. And so this will be a how-to on doing it. Now, the first thing you've got to do on any how-to with knives is this is sharp. It's a knife. So you either blunten it, but I'd rather not do that because then you have to resharpen it. So your other alternative is to wrap it with something. So I'm just going to wrap it. So this will allow me to hold it and grip it without actually risking cutting myself. You can use a bit of newspaper and you'll do the same thing. But as long as you're protecting yourself from the blade, that's all that matters. So now we have just a clean blade and something that we can work with. So I'll still have to clean all this up, which I'll do with a bit of sandpaper, but it's almost ready to go. Alright, so I've got some 180 grit wet and dry. So that's what we got. That's clean enough for what we need it to do. As long as that rust and junk is gone, you'll be able to get a decent glue for it. Okay. All right. Because I'm going to shape the handle around that original shape and design, I don't need any more of the material than that and the rest of it I'll grind away. So I'm going to cut down to that and then I'm going to split this down the middle. So that will give us two halves and we will put those halves together like that on the, we're going to grind it back down to that sort of thickness anyway, so that's not an issue. All right. Because remember, we only want it as thick as the original handle was and that is about what it was. So epoxy doesn't need a lot of clamping force like you do with a wood glue. So 
just a few of these to hold it in place while it dries is enough and the good thing about these is that they're cheap so if you do accidentally epoxy them to something they're not supposed to be epoxied to doesn't matter that much you can just buy another pair for I think they're about three ringgit something like that but the idea is just to hold it in place not to actually clamp it down right so that's dried enough now that it doesn't need to be clamped I'll still give it a little bit longer I think like this you can clean off the top before it hardens too much so that that won't interfere and we stick on the next layer. Alright, so that when we stick that on, it's not going to be pushed aside by any bits of glue or anything that are stuck in there. You can feel free to just glue another bit of wood over the top, but I'm going to run some pins through here just to make it look a little bit more like the original. So I've got some three millimeter welding rod, so I've got a three millimeter bit, and I'm just going to run it through. reason that I drill that now is because I'm going to go ahead and glue that straight on that way and then I'll be able to drill back through to line it up properly okay so that's hardened up a bit so I'm going to start the next one doesn't need a lot of pressure but just enough to hold it in place so that's enough to keep it there That should be enough. Just a very light touch is all I used for those. Because you want the, the epoxy to stay there and form the bond. It doesn't soak in like a wood glue does. What it does is it fills all the little cracks and hardens. And that's what forms the the bond not soaking into the wood or anything like that
Pretty happy with the shape of that. Let me just clean that up. I put three coats of boiled linseed on and let it set and it's looking pretty good. It feels nice in my hand and I think my uncle's really going to like this one. The brass welding rod for the pins sets it off nicely and I think it's a pretty good job. Like it if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, but most importantly have fun making things guys.